Well, the town decided to move forward actually by continuing the conversation through a public forum. No specific vote was held tonight on whether to pass the proposal or not. But tonight we heard from several residents. Residents from both sides spoke up about the proposal during public comment. Most were Second Amendment advocates who expressed concerns about the proposed ordinance. Another resident saying gun violence is a big issue in the country and that public safety needs to be addressed. The proposal would ban the open and carry of electronic defense weapons, pistols and revolvers in municipal buildings without a permit. Bringing a deadly weapon, assault weapon or firearm would also be banned under the proposal. Now we're told that the ordinance would cover places like town hall, the library and community centers. South Windsor Mayor Liz Pendleton says tonight was about hearing from residents and engaging in discussion. Take a listen to what a couple South Windsor residents had to say. I'm here to advocate for all law abiding citizens with the proper training that wish to exercise their rights and their freedom to carry as they, most com they are most comfortable with. The only thing wrong with the proposal is that it doesn't go far enough. I would like to see all weapons barred from town hall. Now, again, no vote was made tonight on whether to pass the ordinance or not, but to continue these discussions. From here, the town plans to hold a community forum and bring in experts on topics from mental health to gun rights and maybe even a police uh, uh, um, representative as well. Just some of those stakeholders for the proposed discussion. You can hear more from town councilors and residents coming up tonight on Fox 61 News at 11. I'll have more then. For now, we're live in South Windsor. Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News.